Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to discuss shear stress and to work out shear stress in a rivet joint. So we'll start off by discussing shear stress. So shear stress is the result of forces which are applied uh, along the same plane as the cross section of the material which we're interested in. And it can be described as a rubbing force. So whereas, ax whereas um, normal stress is basically pulling apart planes of uh, material. So we, we might have a beam shape that looks, so we have a beam that looks like this. And if we load it either end, like this, if we were to break this down into planes, so the, the assumption is that this material is made up of a series of planes, like this, um, in the timber, so or the concrete or the steel. And effectively, by applying these tensional forces, these are normal forces, uh, which are perpendicular to the planes, uh, it's going to be pulling apart these planes. So these planes might have started off looking like that, but um, when we apply the loads, they'll be a lot wider apart. So they're being pulled apart like that. Uh, this is in contrast to our, any discussion we have on shear stress, which is, so if we have the same beam, um, again, we have these planes, but this time, instead of loading them, uh, loading this uh, beam on the outside um, to pull it apart or push it together, we load it from the top and the bottom in this direction. So you can see that this is going to cause these planes to um, slip against each other and the deformed shape will look something like this. So there'll be a little step in it. So this is what 